Hunter, and today we're going to do a rod review. Um, I will be reviewing the Daiwa MCAS surf rod, and this is not a spinning rod at all, it's for casting, such as that, surf reels. Um, this is 11 foot with a three, about a three foot uh, butt section. It has the original x wrap handles that can also be found on the um, Mojo Surf from St. Croix. These rods come in every, everything, I believe, from a 7 foot to a 15 foot. It's a very, very nice rod. I found out I bought it over the weekend, along with the Lamy glass that I reviewed earlier. This one does, I believe it's, I uh, have to check. I can't really see that. 11 foot 4 to 7 ounce and it's very very sturdy rod it casts every bit of 100 yards I'd recommend smaller reels for it most of the time unless you're going after shark you can handle shark really really well I usually use the pen squitter which is quite small I put about 150 yards of 20 pound trialing and then have 17 pound uh, Cajun line underneath and uh it's very, very good for uh, just general surf fishing. It's very, very light. I would guess only about 12 ounces. And then it's got an EVA foam handle at the top. It's got Fuji reel seat, too. And it's got Fuji guides. It's a two-piece. It breaks evenly. And I caught fish with it. There's no flat spot in it at all. Like uh, Some people complain about how... Uh, two pieces can have a flat spot in and, and the joint where, where it connects. But this one does not have that problem. It bends very, very well. Very, very sturdy, but also not too sturdy. So uh, they run for about $100. And I got mine at a discount, but usually they're about 130 150 at most. I got mine for 100 bucks at uh, Captain Steve's, and it was a great rod. So if you're looking for a good surf rod for your bait casting reel, I would recommend the Daiwa MCAST. Either that or if you want to go $30 more, I would recommend getting a Lamy Glass uh, Surf King 11 foot. So uh, I'll see you guys later.